Every time a crow flies past, they think Odin's watching them, making sure they live manly lives. Oh, yeah? Almost I could believe in old Cease's idea to lob flaming oil pots onto their ships. Hard to do when they stay just out of range and fill you with arrows. God help us all. <sighs> we really need some of the old wisdom these days. I always make sure to invoke Woden, just in case. Even after applying leeches. So much for Bishop Swart and a few prayers. Modern medicine really has advanced beyond my ken. It's all ginger, garlic and radishes now. Some martyr's knob on your neck? No? You speak well. Still, comes a time there's naught for it but bitter herbs steeped in old sheep's piss. Foul of the taste, better the healing. <laughs> You know, it's getting to the point they'll try most anything. I heard they fed him boiled fox gall. I mean, great for leprosy, but for flux. Mm. I've heard the old abbess is a good healer. She's all oh, for the modern approach. The old yes. ways die hard, but and die they will if ginger and pepper flow in. Does it do as well as they say, though? Well, that said, your brother got better, and he drank the black snail and holy water. That brother monk's got some real skill. Almost interesting. <laughs> Not so many ways we can make the evenings more interesting out here. At least we've got some food. Once we see these Danes settled, one way or the other, then God willing I'll take the woman, go back to Fagrin Forda. The soul craves peace. Where's the lad? Must be tower duty. The priests all prattle on about faithfulness and sin, yet they spend more time on ping than we do. Sorry. Makes you no think. rabbit today. Speaking of which, 